When Sawop Pro has a, a large design and you've chosen the correct hoops, it actually sets it up so that the design is saved in two parts and it makes a text file. And if you're not careful, then your Adobe PDF reader can take it over. And any other program that's hunting around for spare formats can also lift it. And that's not what you want. You want to be able to open your embroidery design files in an embroidery design file handling program. So that's what we're going to look for now. So I'm going to open up my libraries and I'm going to go to where I keep my designs and I need that one. Okay, now I go into that one. I need a, a format I don't normally use and I've got one here. It's a CSD. So I right click into that area. It's not going to give it to me. CSD. I do hate it when things won't work. Right, I'm going to downsize this window again and I'm going to move that one onto my desktop. There we go. I'm going to close that. I'm going to right click into it and I'm going to tell it open with. Now, this is a Windows 64 computer. If you've got XP, then you don't have to do what I did, which was move it onto the desktop. You just right click on it and you select open with and you get a dialog box. Choose the program you want to use to open this file. And I've already got Ember and I don't want Ember to open this one. I want so what pro so i click the browse button that gives me a new dialog box now up here i have my osc program files and on my xp computer all i get is program files now in a 64 bit you get program files times 86 which is your 32 bit applications but you don't want that one if you've got a 64-bit computer, okay? You want the OSC program files. And you scroll through until you see the folder S&S Computing. And you click on that and you tell it Open. Inside it has another folder, So What Pro. So you click on that one and you open that. And then you've got a So What Pro Exec and you click on that and it's popped it in here for you and you tell it open. Now it's put it into this dialog box. Open with and you can see I've already got two So What Pros but this is for those of you who don't see So What Pro in your dialog box. Make certain that your box always use the selected program to open this kind of file is ticked and tell that OK. And So What Pro is launched and there is that design. Now every time I click on a CSD format, and I'm going to close So What Pro now, and I'm going to go back to the folder where I know I've got the design files that I want. I'm going to click on that CSD, and there it is. It's opened up in So What Pro. Now you choose your file format. It might be a Jeff if you want it to open all your files, all your embroidery files, let's say you've accidentally downloaded a PEZ or a HUS or anything like that, then just open So What Pro. And to do that, I'm going to close this again now, and this. Now, I have a folder on my desktop called Program Shortcuts, and I create a shortcut and I put it into that folder. But I'll show you how you open Start and you can go to all programs now in this computer oh give me all programs thank you it defaults to the 32-bit program folder in the start I don't get the S and S folder I get everything that's inside my 32-bit program files so I have to go to computer and I go to my OSC and if we look down here there are my program files and there's my program files times 86 and I've got two program files times 86 so I open up that one 
tell that open. And there is my SNS computing. Now, I open that one. I open the So What Pro and I right click on So What Pro and it's not doing it for me again. I want to make a shortcut and it's not playing nice with me. Nope. Come on, give it to me. I don't want to launch the program. I just want to make a shortcut. Okay, I'll fox you then. We'll go and we'll look at this. Thank you. That's the getting started. Close that. Come back down onto this one. Create a shortcut. See what I mean? So I create a shortcut. And it says Windows can't create a shortcut here. Do you want this shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead? Yes, of course I do. Thank you. I don't, but I do for this video. So I close that. And then sitting on my desktop, I've got the shortcut to So What Pro. So I go to So What Pro. I click on it. There is the program. I'm not going to leave the flash there. Now, inside of So What Pro, I can use the open file. It looks, looks like a, f a file on the second toolbar down. Or the file up here. I generally go for this one. It's easier. I know where to go. And I've got one, two, three, four, five hard drives. And then I've got some externals. Okay, so I go to where I keep my designs. And I'll open a DST. Okay. Base. That will do. Open. And it's put it in this little box and it's telling me it's 80 millimeters wide because my computer is set up for metric. There you go. Well, it says 90 by 90. So that must be 45. I need a hoop. So adjust hoop size. And that's an icon up on your top icon toolbar. And you've got a hoop calibration, but we're not going to bother with that. I want a Jeff hoop. So I click on my Jeff hoop screen, a uh, tab, and I go and find the, everybody makes this mistake, they call it the RE. It's only an RE if you've got an 11,000. But you want the 140 by 200. And there it is. Now you've got two. You've got 200 by 140 or 140 by 200. And I'm hoping that the first one is the right one because I don't use this program. Okay. That's the right one. Because the Genome E hoop it's called. It might be called the RE, RE hoop on yours. But I think the RE hoop is for the 11,000. Its orientation is portrait, which means it's taller than it is wider. Now, I've got one design there. Now, I don't have any pre-digitized alphabets, unfortunately. But if I did, I could go into Merge, File, Merge. Okay? And that's important, because if you open a design and you don't merge it, it will open a new screen. And that's not what you want. And this allows me then to place my design into position. I've got a little dot on an arm. I can angle that till I've got it in the right position. I move it in closer. OK. So it gives me quite a fair amount of editing capability. In fact, this is a sweet little program for people who don't have a full digitizing program suite. It's also got its own little digitizing program in it. But you'd have to go to the So What Pro website and watch the videos because as I say, I don't I don't actually use this program. But I think it's one of the best ones out there for people who don't have editing or digitizing programs because it's so cheap. I mean, it's not very sophisticated to look at. It's not very polished, the interface, but it's got everything you need. OK, now that's how you bring in more than one design file. Now I can save that. So if I go into File, Save As, and I don't want to save it there. I'll save it onto my desktop and I can delete it then. And I don't want it as PEZ, because that's not what my machine uses. And I'm going to call this 
what am I going to call it? Nothing for a minute, because I've just realized I'm outside my sewing field. I highlight that. Ooh, that was a wee bit dodgy. Put that up here. Straighten it up. And a bit more, please. I mean, I th this is so easy to use. And it needs to go just a touch more. you and just stay up there please and then I like that one I'll put that one up underneath there move you over a touch right now I need to select both of those now they're both selected and there is a command in here somewhere for take to center. Center pattern and hoop, there it is. Now that's sitting in the middle of my hoop, both parts. So click on that one, just nudge him down a bit because he's too far away. Right. And I go back to file. Save as. Put it on my desktop. And call it. Don't want you. <laughs> don't want. Because I don't want it. And save that as. A normal Jeff. Okay. don't want Jeff save and it's saved in 110 by 126 I didn't want the 110 by 126 so I'm going to set the default hoop now so I go to here um, 140 by 280 no 140 by 200 come on that one Set default hoop. 140 by 200. OK. That's the hoop I want it in. Please don't change my hoops around. File. Save as. Don't want. I want it as a Jeff. Save. I want to replace it. Now this time it hasn't defaulted to the smaller hoop. So if you're going to do a lot of lettering, choose the larger hoop. If you're only going to do a couple of letters and it will fit within the 110 by 126 hoop, which is the smaller of your two large hoops, then choose the 110 by 126 because this is the space it will fit in. Now, you can magnify this. You don't have to have it small like this. And you do it again. You can fill the whole screen up with it. And my grid is set up for 10 millimeters. Now, if you work in Imperial, I don't know where in here you change it. But it will be in one of these. OK, now I'm going to tell this. I don't want you anymore. And I don't want you. Go away.